Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. And today we are doing another object competition. As you can see, we are doing Venus today. So yeah, we've got a lot of submissions to this one. So a massive, massive thank you for everyone sending those in. But before we begin, guys, just a massive thank you as always because when was that? I think it was 7,400 now. I mean, damn, pretty uh, fast growth. Um from what I've seen. So yeah, massive, massive thank you um, for all of that. But yeah, anyways, we'll just get straight into today's video since it is a competition. So no slacking around, we'll just get straight into it. So here's my um, custom Venus, which I've had for quite a while. Some damn gamer made me this over a year ago. So this is a pretty, pretty old modded object now. So yeah, that's just my one I want to um, show off there. But yeah, we have got a lot of Venuses, as you can see here. Not all of these are for the comp, because I've had some other ones for quite a while. So for instance, this one, I've had this one for quite a while. I do not want to click yet. Yeah, that's why I had to pause there. But yeah, I've had that one there. This Venus new. I've had that for ages. So this one here. So it's basically a highly reflective one, as you can see. Then we also we had I had a colonized Venus as well. So I've had um we had a few of these variants as well, which are quite cool. But um yeah, there we go for those. So I'll quickly go and remove those since they aren't the normal Venus. So yeah, there we go. I'll keep that one in there though, because that one that one is a um in theory it is a normal Venus, so Right, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and spawn in Zane B's one first, and since this is um, here, and this one's enormous, look at the size of it. He did tell me it needed to be cooled down as well, so we'll definitely have to go ahead and do that. Okay, actually work for a change. Is there an atmosphere we can add to this? Hello, atmosphere? Do we have to, uh, if I just delete those quickly, play. There you go, okay, so that's what his looks like. All right, cool. So I'll go ahead and spawn my one back in here, so it's just called Venus. And then I'll go ahead and spawn this one too. So there we go. We're definitely going to have to make this one smaller though. Because it is way too big. So let's put it to about 6,000. There we go. Make it the correct size. Just, so yeah, 6,000. All right, that's good enough. So let's place it there. And also we'll go ahead and spawn the regular old Venus in as well for, for a comparison. So as you can see, the regular one's colour is just completely off. It's just... Look at it. It's not right. So yeah, there is that. Right, moving on. We have got Gurren's one here. So let's go ahead and spawn that in. So there we go. So he's got more of a white coloured one. So we're obviously going to see a lot of ones in this colour. I mean, because you know, the way um, we're doing today is it's got to be as close to the real planet as possible. So, yeah, that's our goal. Okay, next up we've got Gamer Team's one here. Whoa, he's got a gas giant Venus. It looks like Saturn. I think it is Saturn. He's, he's, he's sent a Saturn in for a Venus. I mean, the colours are similar. I'll give him that. But it's not a gas giant. I mean, there it is. Is that a Saturn? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's just quickly... I'm sure this is just a micro Saturn. I think it is. So let's quickly uh, spawn it in. Is that a Saturn? It's very, very similar. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. You can see the bands are just a tad different. Um, if you look in the image up here, there is a band that slightly changes. But on the other hand, yeah, that literally is a Saturn. So very interesting just making a Saturn smaller as a strategy to get in the competition. But I mean, uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. All right, next up we've got Giga Man's one here. Oh my god, look how bright that is. Well, it is the brightest object in the night sky, so that makes sense, actually. I like that. We've also got this glowy Venus. That's not really... Yeah, that's not part of this, but yeah, I think Zane B made that too. That one's quite cool. Um, so there we go. Oh, we've got two Gurren Venuses. I must have had his one for ages then. There it is. Yeah, so he must have sent that in the past. So I've got that one there. Next up, we've got Ilya's one here. I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right, because um, I know it's not called Lyra. It's going to be... I think it's Ilya. I'm, hope, I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. Pronunciation is not a strong point, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm hopefully um, that is um, spelt or pronounced right now. So yeah, there is their one here. So yeah, very similar to some of the other ones we've got so far as well. All right, now we'll move on to Mark's one. So let's go ahead and spawn out of in. So we've got this one as well. So yeah, we're getting a lot of um, similar ones here. So it'll have to be quite interesting to pick a winner here. Uh, then we've got Mad Planet Guys Venus here. Very, very late submission, actually. This one, I only just saw this because I was actually going to film this... Um, uh, Saturday. This was going to be filmed on Saturday but because of that new update it pushed it back a day. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, that one wouldn't have made it if I did the video um, when I was supposed to. Alright, next up we've got U20's one over here. So let's go ahead and spawn that in. So he's gone with a really yellowy orange one. Look, at the, look how deep the colour is on that. Almost um, reminds me of a Titan in a way there. Alright, uh, next up we've got Nintendo's one. So they've also rolled in with a gas giant as well. But I do like the way that's looking. Just because I see what they've done. They put a white and white a white area at the top and the south, or the north and the south. And the real one does have bits like that. I reckon if you added an atmosphere to that, that'd be really good. Um, that's just um, a tip from me there. Next up, we got Mr. Mislot's one, which is the last one as well as so he's gone with a highly reflective one as well. So you got look how many we've got today. Damn, we got a lot. That is a lot of Venuses. So. 
how many have we got in here? We've got, well, two of them were already ones I had. So we've got 12 different Venuses. Damn, that's really good. So let's go ahead and line them all up. And we've got to make this one smaller because its size is way off. So 6,000. There we go. Right, so here are our Venuses. So, yeah, we've got some that are very similar. Let's see if I can, like, put them into a order here. So we've got the more light yellow sort of colored ones. So, so these Venuses here. So let's go ahead. So, yeah, those ones are in their own little category. Then we've got, like, the highly reflective one. So that will go next to the Venus new I've got here. So, yeah, Gigaman's Venus. Then we've got my custom, or one of my other custom ones there. All right, then we will move the more orange-coloured ones. We'll move those in the middle. The original Venus will just toss over here since it's more of a green colour. But then we've got, like, the ones um, in this sort of colour scheme. You can see they're very similar here. So, yeah, we if I end up picking one of these, it would be a multiple win because they are very, very similar. And picking between those would practically be impossible. So, yeah, there are those. Then we've got a, more of a white-coloured one over here. And then we've got the two gas giant ones, which we'll put at the end over here. So there are all of those. Then we'll leave that like golden coloured one in the middle there. But so yeah, we've got like a interesting set of Venuses. We've got, yeah, the yellow, more yellow coloured ones. We've got obviously the original one there, which is green. Then we've got the super golden coloured ones. And then we've got the ones that look very similar to Titan. But I am like, I am liking that, I have to say. Then we've got the white one. This is Gurun's one there, an all white Venus. So there is that one. Then we've got the highly reflective ones over here. So here is this one. This one is, um, I really like this one. But yeah, well, it was entered, or well, I got this ages ago, and I don't know who made it. So yeah, I guess that's that, because that is a really, really cool one, just because of how reflective it is. But only the like the front bit, not just the, the corners where it starts to get darker. They're not as reflective. That is a really cool one. Then we've got Gigaman's here, which is turned up to the max for reflectiveness. Very, very interesting. Then we've got the two gas giant ones over here. So yeah, we have a Saturn, and then we've got a... Um, custom um, banded one over here with the uh, white clouds at the top and then the uh, in the south as well i have seen pictures of venus it looked very similar to that so yeah out of the two gas giants this one is definitely the best saucy that one's a saturn anyway so yeah this is the only one that's had um what um time put into it so yeah that's an automatic win out of the gas giants for that one so yeah there's that but going back to the rockies i mean for me, this one is way, way, way too gold, and I'm sure a lot of us would agree on that. The, the colour scheme is, is too gold. Venus is not this gold in colour, so there it is under there. So I'd definitely have to push that one further back. Obviously, the original Venus, we can get rid of that as well. So then moving on to um, the white Venus here. I have to say, I think it's too white. I have to say, it's very, very white in colour, and it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really suit a Venus, I have to say. It's, it does seem a little too white for my liking, but that's just my personal taste. But I don't think that reminds me of the real one. Because it's meant to be the closest to the real image of Venus, a real, a, the real one. So, I think it's too white in colour, I, I have to say. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put the, obviously all of those ones. I think I'm going to put those back. So, then we've got Gigaman's one here. So, it's mainly between the yellows and the oranges. We've got the yellow ones here, we've got the orange ones. And then I'd say it's between those and Gigaman's one. So, yeah, there are those. Because the gas giants, they're definitely not um, in it for me, I have to say. Because Venus is a rocky. It can't be portrayed as a gas one. Even though it's got loads of clouds, it still has to be in a rocky template for me. So, yeah, I'm gonna, it's definitely between these ones. So, it's, we've got three categories here. So, we've got the reflective, the orange ones, and then we've got like the yellowy coloured ones. So, yeah, all of these are pretty much the same. I mean, you can see they're very, very similar. We've got some are brighter than others. Obviously, Mr. Mistlot's one here. It's slightly more reflective. Than the other two yellow ones, which I do like because the reflective ones do look really, really cool. So, out of the yellow ones, this one is definitely the most interesting, just because it's reflective. Remember, this is the most reflective, or most reflective planet in the solar system, and it's the brightest object in the night sky that isn't the moon. This is a very, very bright object, so it makes sense to have a lot of reflective clouds like that, because obviously this object as well, very, very high albedo of 88% of light being reflected. So, yeah, it's very, very um good looking out of the yellow ones so that's definitely the top of the yellow ones but with these ones here hmm so we've got the remaining ones i do like this one out of the oranges i because i think it this one is more bright than the other two as well and i'm actually going to spawn a titan in as well so here's titan i'm going to have that as a um let's go back to this one so i'm going to have titan as just a little reference there so there's titan so you can see it's a lot more orange but I think out of the more orange colour ones, I'm going to go with this one here. So whose is this one? It doesn't have a name. So if I just search Venus again. Oh, 
Oh, it's going to be so hard. Is this Mad Planet Guys one? Okay, that's Mad Planet Guys one. Okay, so so we've got yeah, we've got this Venus here. We've got Mr. Miss Lot's reflected Venus, and then we've got Giga Man's one. Now, moving on to Giga Man's one, I have to say it is really cool that it's reflected. It, don't get me wrong, but I think it's too much. Personally, I think it is too much because. Comparing it to the older template I have here, I, I have no idea who made this. If anyone, if you're still around, the person who made this, come forward because this one is a very, very strong contender. And so yeah, since I didn't make it, in theory, it is it does um, fit into the competition as well because obviously I didn't I didn't make it. So yeah, anything I make is automatically uh, kicked out. I can't submit my own stuff. But I didn't make this, so for me, this is allowed in the competition. But that, between this and Giga Man's one, I think I'll go with this one. I think that is too reflective. I think it's too much. It, I think it's way, way, way too bright. But this one, on the other hand, I think it's just right myself. I think it's just right because it's only reflective on the, the front part, but on the sides, it starts to get darker. I, I do like that, I have to say. So I think I'd... It's between these three. It's between these three. It's very, very close. I mean, these three would be the ones to me... I mean, it's, it was hard enough picking like these out of their own color sections, but for the, that one is definitely the best out of the oranges one or the orange ones because it's it it has more color to it. Cause obviously, it's more bright at the um, front of it as well, as you can see. But those ones are pretty much the same color all around. But this they're slightly more reflective, and obviously, same with Mr. Mislot's one. You can see it's a lot more reflective at the front, and I, I really do like that. I have to say. So yeah, obviously these ones, yeah, that you can see they're not they're not as reflective, but the ones over there are so yeah, it's between these three for me but picking between these oh my god it's very very difficult now we're gonna get down to color wise out of them all cause i've sort of picked the best one for each color grassy but now i need to sort of compare it to the real venus's color and sort of pick which one's the best because i i is this one's very difficult but yeah it's gonna be um the one that's closest to the real one so yeah just looking at the real images of it now the latest like real images Oh god, this is this is near impossible to pick a winner for me. I mean, which one looks the most realistic? I mean, it's it's all opinionated still. So yeah, remember what I'm saying? It's an opinion, not a fact. It's not a fact that one's better than the other. You guys can all have your own opinions, and if you um want to share them, let us know down below um what your thoughts are. But yeah, just looking at a picture of the real one. I mean, the real one has all different shades of browns and oranges and yellows and whites in them. So picking between these, I I'd say it's probably personal preference between these three but i've sort of narrowed it down to the ones i think are the best out of all the little sections of colors and stuff so it's between these ones um and i i do not know so yeah mad planet guy mr mislot and then the unknown user who submitted this one i can't, I, I can't remember who did it because they didn't put a name it was just called venus new i can't remember who wrote that so yeah if you if this is your object and you want to come forward let us know in the comments that you made this because yeah, I, I, I don't know who gave me this, but it is a very, very good looking one. I mean, as you can see, it's probably very similar in color to um, the orange colored shaded ones here, but it's just a lot more reflective at the front, which is really, really cool addition. I really, really like that. So it's between these three. I think I may leave it there. Honestly, I, I don't know. Out of these three, I mean, eh, I'm really stuck. I, I don't know. Out of those three, I mean, what would you pick? They're all, ah, they're all good in their own way and... They're all reflective and... Oh, that's really difficult. But oh, trying to narrow it down to one is very, very difficult. I mean... That's... Okay, I'll, I'll turn up the brutality level a bit. Actually, why not? So... I think this one's a little yellow. I have to say. I do... I say, it's really, really good. But I think it's too yellow. I think there's too much yellow in there. Compared to the real one, which is a lot more brown, like more of a brownish cream color. I think this is too sandy colored. I think there's too much like yellow um, in the color for this one personally. So, um, it's, eh, and then with Mad Planet Guys one here as well, would you say it's too orange? I mean, but this one here is, this one, uh, I think that one out of them all. So, yeah, I don't know who made it, but... I think this could be the winner for me for the most realistic Venus. I mean, the colours, the colour on it for me is pretty, um, pretty spot on. And then it's obviously very reflective, which is like the real one as well. So I may have to go with this one. I mean, 
it's really hard to pick and choose. I mean, they're all very, very close, and oh, I really don't know because I couldn't pick. Oh, I really couldn't pick any of the gas giant ones though because they're not reflective enough. They have to be cloudy and reflective, but yeah, obviously gas giants they're not very bright. So yeah, it's definitely one of the rocky planet ones. But yeah, just, I'm just looking at images of it right now. Obviously, you can't get the clouds exactly like the real one either. So it's mainly the color, which is the uh, thing you want to go for. But I'm thinking that is. I'm, I want I'm thinking this one. Like, like, guys, let me know what do you think down below. Um, which one you think is the best? But I, I kind of want. I, I think this one here from the anonymous user. I don't know who made this, but the one I've had it for ages and ages now. So yeah, like I said, if you if you made this, come forward. Let us know who you are and who made this. But I think this is my winner right here and i'll see you guys can um let me know who you think is the best um down below so yeah we've got all of these ones here um which one do you think is the best because we've got yeah a ton of venuses so we'll get a full lineup of them all now so yeah here they all are so we'll go make live again so here we go so we've got this um venus over here which is literally the saturn so um yeah there it is there so that was um that was gamer teams one then we've got gigaman's one here the super effective one but yeah i think it's a little over the top for reflectiveness then we've got Venus New. I don't know who made it. So there's that one. Then we've got the uh, Venus that I've been using for ages. This is some dumb gamers one that he gave me um, over a year ago. All right, then we've got Ilya's one. We've got Mark's one. That's um, Gurun's one. This one was Mad. That was Mad Planet Guy's one. Then we've got Ninden Cho's one. Yeah, remember, guys, to put your names in them just so it makes it easier for me. Uh, then we've got Mr. Mislots. Yeah, I, d I definitely stand by my point. I think that is too yellow in colour, I have to say. Then we've got the original Venus, which is probably the worst rocky planet out of all of these. Um, then we've got Zane B's custom Venus there. Still very similar to the ones we've seen. And then we've got U20's one in the crazy golden orange colour, which um, is really, really um, interesting why he picked that colour. Um, but yeah, there it is there. So yeah, for me, I, th I think that's the best one. I think the Venus new here, I'd say that's the best. Um, so yeah guys let me know um, down below but yeah I don't know who made it so I don't really know who to congratulate for it but yeah whoever made it well done but that is um, definitely the top one for me out of all of these so yeah that is that guys so yeah let me know um, who you thought um, won down below in the comments or in the live chats I think this will be one of those premiere videos but yeah let me know who you think won out of all of these because we've got they're very very as you can see they're very similar in color a lot of these I mean especially the yellow colored ones here I mean got three variants of that then we've got like the more orange colored ones these ones here i mean there's a there's a lot of um ones in um here very very close i remember my opinion it's not a fact it's an opinion so remember to keep that in mind hope i haven't made anyone angry but remember it's an opinion everyone can have their own opinion on this and yeah guys just let me know who you think one if you think differently because i'm interested to hear your thoughts because this one is very very close but yeah just go ahead go wild let, let me know who you think one um but yeah, yeah, really, really cool stuff. And also, guys, if you have um, any ideas for a future competition, definitely let me know down below in the comments or in my Discord server where we uh, organize these events. And also, if you want to participate in these events or send in a solar system, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. That's where you can um, get updates and all the latest stuff. And also, send in um, systems and stuff. So that chat is now open. So if you have systems, make sure to send them in there. A maximum of two at once. And also, we have a whole chat for the competition objects as well where we discuss what we want to do. And yeah, because remember, so a lot of you guys, you guys have a massive input in what competition we do. So if you, a lot of you guys agree, we do that one. So um, yeah, that is that all out the way, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. Let me know who you won down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.